Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today, we're going to Christian's job. We're going to her farm, we're going to, to the Granja, yes. Granja Gema. And we're just, uh, it's Sunday morning and uh, we're out here in Cholul. And uh, yeah, you know, we're just out here. Um, it's like uh, seven in the morning and we're out here because we gotta go feed the chickens. So yeah, today I just decided to bring you guys with me and show you. All right, so we're about to go buy like some bread or some goodies because there's a bunch of guard dogs that are, um, you know, in the way of getting into the place we gotta get into. So we gotta like feed them some bread or some goodies in order to allow us to get in. All right, I'm just gonna keep showing you what's around, all right? And we'll go from there, all right? Let's get that. Let's get those goodies. So like I was saying, we're just uh, here getting some tacos. It's too early for tacos for me anyway. I know people eat tacos here at this time, right? Already, they're already eating tacos, but we're just getting some food for the dogs so that we can uh, bribe the dogs so it'll be easier to get in. Um, she, she assured me that not, they're very friendly dogs. They're just, you know, big and hungry dogs, right? All right, guys, we got the tacos here, ready to go. We're now waiting for a moto taxi, you know, a little guy with a little a bicycle right like a little motorbike um with a little right with the little seats in the back this is so weird she's holding the camera and i'm, I'm used to being my own cameraman but anyways <laughs> yeah we're waiting for a motor taxi so we can uh, head to the farm right okay so yeah we're just here waiting
Gracias, muchas gracias. All right, we made it. It was only 10 pesos each, all right? So 20 pesos. Hey, hey, guys. Hey. Christian to come out here so he can go feed the chickens. You see these dogs right here? These are typical Mayan Aztec dogs. The typical Mayan Aztec dogs. Look how they're like skinless. What happened to all your hair? I can't move from here because then the dog starts barking. So I gotta sit here. I gotta behave. They're jealous, they're jealous. We're here. Look at this, this guy. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, they're all women. They're all girls. So look, that's to make the eggs uh, harder, to make the eggshell harder. That's what that white stuff is. So that's what she does every morning, guys. Look at this. Look at her. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's check it out. What a woman, huh? What a woman. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these guys. Scary. Oh, she's putting more over here. What is this? Oh, look, eggs. Look at this. Oh, she's collecting the eggs. Cool. here with the chicken still this is becoming a little annoying filming i don't know what's wrong with my sd card but it keeps messing up i know you guys don't want to hear that you're just going to want to see me feeding chickens and hanging out here with my girlfriend having fun on a sunday afternoon sunday morning sunday morning but um i know i filmed some stuff I'm not quite sure what got filmed or not so i guess we'll play it by ear but look she went to go get a sack of what ¿Qué cosa es eso? 
Bagazo? What's that? What's a bagazo? Ah. Para las gallinas. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So this is like for the for the nest, right? Para nido. Ah, so that's where the chickens can make their nesting. So let's go check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's for the nesting, you know, so that they, they can they can stay soft. You know, the chickens can stay in a nice soft environment. And look at that guy. They're going. Is that, is that a, 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 no, that's a duck. That's a duck. Anyway, see, look, so she's putting this material in there so that it softens the eggs. Quiere que te busque cuba para eso. So she puts that stuff in there so that they can make their nest so it's nice and soft. So that the chickens have something nice and soft to sit on. And also so that um, the eggs don't get crushed or messed up. So speaking of eggs, we were collecting eggs earlier. I think I was able to record that, but see, look, check it out. We got the eggs, we got the chickens. All right, so we're gonna collect some eggs now. Trying to film and collect eggs at the same time. Hopefully I don't break any eggs. You're breaking my balls. I know, I know, I'm being careful. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm, I'm notorious for not being careful. I'm breaking shit, so. <clears throat> Look at that. ¿Te acuerdas la, la planta de Nequén que te mostré? De la fibra yes. de Nequén. Bueno, esto es cuando se desfibra la planta y queda seca. Ah, ok, ok. So this is a, this is a material of a plant stuff that they grow out here that's very similar to hemp. And that's what they use to make rope and all kinds of stuff. So this is like the stuff called Hennequen, which is like almost like hemp. And that's what they, they also grow that out here. And they use it for, for all kinds of stuff. And in this case, they're using it for, no oh, thanks. They're using it for um, this material. So, you know, that's the cool thing about living out here. It's very self-sustainable. You get to cross utilize so many things, use it for so many things. Look at this, look at these guys. Girls. Girls, these girls, look at all these girls. That's right, that's right. I gotta be gender, gender, gender appropriate, right? These hens are, these hens are feminist, right? Yes. Hardcore feminist. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh, look, an egg. I found an egg. Should I go for the egg? All right. Oh, it's still warm. This egg is still warm. Nice and fresh. It's just laid. Okay, listen. Is, is she having postmortem depression? And the other hand is trying to help her out. <laughs> <laughs> Postpartum depression, poor hen. <laughs> oh shit, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> See, <laughs> don't make fun of, <laughs> don't make fun of, uh, what is it like, um, postpartum depression. These tens are, she was not having it. These, they, they definitely are feminists, huh? Fucking A. Well, let me not uh, continue making fun of them. I got a feeling they're gonna kick my ass. All of them, all of them, her included. <laughs> so working out here on the farm, having a good time. Yeah, getting all nice and sweaty. Yeah, man. Oh, look, look, a random egg. Pero este creo que es de pato. Oh, it's a duck egg. Duck egg. So, ¿qué hacemos con? You can separate? It's a bigger, yeah, it is a bigger egg. It's a different. There's just ducks around here. There's like ha ducks hanging around with these, uh, there's a few ducks I've seen out here. So I guess they don't go inside the coops. So then they just fucking lay their eggs wherever. Oh look, they're drinking water. That's how they drink water. Look at that. In case anyone's curious. Drink the water, drink the water.
A ver, uh, ¿qué hago con esto? Oh, ok. All right, so we gotta bring the eggs away. Oh, shit. I almost hit myself with that. We gotta bring the chickens out here. I mean, the eggs out here and keep them away from the hens because they'll, they'll eat the eggs, huh? I'm a city folk, man. I don't know a lot of this shit. I know maybe a lot of you guys already know a lot of these things. and nothing new here, but... It's all new shit to me. Oh, we're going in here. Oh, look at the chicks. Look at the little baby chicks. Oh, we gotta feed these guys now, look. I know it's a little hard to see, but... So these are these guys right here. They're gonna be those big chickens over there. So these are little chickens. They just got. When did you get them? When did you receive them? So these guys are just about 15 days old, and these guys are eventually gonna be big chickens. Look, they're already running over here because they can smell the feed. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> So this is, you do this every day, right? Yes. So she does this every day, apart from all the other stuff that she does, like I was explaining earlier, you know, where she um, plants seeds, digs holes, uh, waters the plants every day, you know, plus this. This is just one small aspect. It's just that her boss is on vacation, so she's, uh, you know, she's working on a Sunday because, you know, her boss worked for her when we were going to Cuba and doing all that other shit, right? So... So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at the little chickens eating. Hey guys, oh my god, look at these guys making a mess and just fucking going in there. Zero fucks given. Look at those guys. No puedo entrar, ¿verdad? Yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed in there because I might step on them. <laughs> Make chicken nuggets. Oh, she's gonna empty that out. It's like emptying out bong water. <laughs> Fucking nasty. Let's fill it with water. Showing you guys every single thing out here. I'm trying to keep it real. Now, obviously, you know, I'm do showing you guys the edited version by now, but um, so you guys can get an idea of uh, other things that happen out here in Merida, Mexico. Again, because some people, some of you guys are always telling me like, oh, I don't want to live out in the middle of, uh, I don't want to live where you're living, Jose. I don't want to live in the, in the city part. I want to live somewhere more like here, you know, like living on, on the range, living on a farm, living on a, you know, this kind of environment. And just to show you like, it was only like a 30 minute trip, right? Like out of the middle of the city. 45 because minutes. 45 minutes, yeah, 45. But that's including the walk to the bus and everything. It's actually a lot less. If you go in a car, as I was explaining all that, the battery ran out. It's one thing or another. A lot of difficulties today. But anyways, that's okay. That's the farm life. You know, difficulties everywhere. It's all part of the, the whole thing. So 
This is where they drink feet out of, and she was filled already these two with water. She just took that little thing off there, as you guys can see. And um, fills these things with the water, and that's it. You know, she's just refilling the bong water. So anyways, yeah, as that guy was saying, you know, there's all kinds of lifestyles out here. And, uh, you know, this kind of lifestyle is also just as normal as a lifestyle that I live living in the city, you know, doing all the regular city life stuff. Um, again, this is just like South Florida, you know, that, that we have like the whole farm area and then we got the big city right next door and the whole thing. Oh man, I feel so bad. You need help with that or? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me help her out with this real quick. Many months later. All right, there you go. Crisis averted. I guess I'm. I mean, I guess I am a little useful for something. <clears throat> Watch tomorrow. She comes to work. All the chickens are dead. They're all flooded. They're all underwater here. <laughs> She's like, no, don't say that. <laughs> Listo. That means we're done. All right, okay, so now all we got to do is just uh, water the plants and we're good to go. So, all right. Show you guys. So you see this right here? This is the vanilla. And then you can see it all the way back there. It's vines. There are vines all the way up against the wall. I thought it was this down here. I'm sure you guys thought too. But it's those vines up against the wall. ¿Y qué cosa hay aquí? ¿Otra cosa? Sorry, I'm speaking too loud. There's something else that's growing there. Oh, more vanilla. Oh, that's all vanilla. Ah, it's all vanilla. Ah, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's been telling me for months and months, you know, she's been building this whole thing. All oh, this is built from scratch and she grew the whole thing. And that's all, that's all my baby right there growing vanilla. So she did this whole thing, this whole operation. These metal poles. Look at this shit. Hell yeah. Hey. Right, let's go. We're in the greenhouse. You gotta water all the little planty plants. So these are little like uh, seeds, right? Semillitas. You know these things are babies about the before they become those things over there. Look at that. So the different stages of growth right there. This is albacate. That's basil. And that's basil over there too, right? There's a lot of basil here. And this is this is an, an organic farm, guys. So, you know, you're probably asking, well, who, who the hell's buying basil out here? Well, you know, an Italian restaurant probably. You know, a nice fancy restaurant. You know, places like that. A lot of the stuff that's grown out here, as you guys can see, it's stuff like basil, vanilla, a lot of very specialty um, items, you know? Um, the specialty honey. Um, special bees that live out here that don't have a stinger and they're like you know one of a kind type honey one of a kind type bees that make one of a kind honey they'd have that here they got again a lot of plants and uh, and other other uh, vegetables and fruits this and stuff Chile? like that. Chile? Those are Chiles? Yes, son oh and those are eggplants so we got eggplants over baby there eggplants. baby eggplants and chilies. Pretty fucking awesome, huh? Yeah. And and all these are tomatoes. All this. So everything growing out here is tomatoes. In the eso también? Or oh, something else? Um, creo que este es algo más, pero los de atrás sí son tomates. Okay, so these are also tomatoes. Not quite sure what these are in the small ones, but
I don't know if you guys can see her all the way on the other end. We're gonna go out there now. So yeah, this is just uh, living out here on the range, out in the farm. I know, again, like I was saying before, this might be very typical for some of you guys out there, but for some people like me, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are also city folk. You know, this is also like a like a, a, a part of life that most people don't get to see. You know, to me, I'm seeing a lot of new things as here as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go check out her watering the plants. I'm trying to keep it as quiet as possible. And so we got three different types of tomatoes here. Probably like heirloom tomatoes, uh, tomatillos, right? Uh, no? Toma no? What kind of tomatoes? Just heirloom tomatoes? Huh? Los tomates que son los bien grandes feos. No, hay unos que son tomate negro, hay otros que es el tomate criollo. Okay. Y otro que... So they got the black tomato, the creole tomato, and then what other tomato? And some other tomato. And then over here in the greenhouse where we were just at, it's just all regular tomatoes, right? So over here, oh, okay, these are cherry or grape tomatoes. I forgot she told me. These are grape tomatoes. That's what all, the whole thing in the greenhouse is all grape tomatoes. And then here they got, I never heard of black tomatoes. I know Creole tomatoes, and I don't know what the other tomato is. She forgot too, but it's okay. Who cares? There's like a lot of really cool organic tomatoes out here. All right, so we already finished watering the tomatoes. We already finished watering the plants in the greenhouse. Plus some more tomatoes. Finish with the finish with the chickens. Finish feeding the chickens. Feeding feeding the dogs. Feeding grabbing the eggs. Feeding you know watering the chickens. We already did all kinds of things. I'm all over the place, but um, yeah. Now we're on our way out of here. You know, she's just finishing off turning off the pumps and all that stuff, and we're about to go get some uh, much needed nourishment. So we're about to go have some cochinita. Well, I mean, that, I mean that's what I want to have, and. Uh, I think that's what she might want to have but that's like the typical yucatecan dish to have every sunday morning so we're gonna go get some of that and um we'll see you there all right all right guys so we're walking back now that's right no no bike taxi there's no bike taxis around here hopefully as we're walking all the way back to town we will get to find one and they get to take us back right but she, she usually just walks because she doesn't want to spend the extra 20 pesos, which is just $1. Actually, for one person, it's tw uh, 10 pesos, so it's only 50 cents. But, hey, I'm willing to spend that dollar. All right, there he is. Here's our hero. De vuelta para el centro. Para allá. Al centro. Al centro. No, media. Eh? No, media. No, no, no. Al centro Shalun. Aquí me meto. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Buenos días. Gracias. All right, our hero. Pero esa es la guagua que tú coges, la que está. Está de vuelta ah. el Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw a bus coming through here. That she actually just takes that bus all the way back home. That's why she doesn't get one of these guys. All right, or whatever. That bus all the way over there. So every piece here is 50 cents. But yeah, we were just going through all the way over there, the other part, and they had like other stuff. I hope I recorded some. I'm gonna have to go back through there again. I hope not. But uh, yeah, there's a lot more clothes on this end over there. There's more knickknacks. It's just like a ginormous garage sale. Like every single family is coming out here doing their garage sale stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and 
That's it. Everybody's either on their way to church or on their way back from church. They're probably on their way to church. It's still early. So yeah, this is like how people do garage sales out here. They all just gather at the park and then do a garage sale. It smells so good out here. But see, look, it's like it's just like a giant garage sale. Again, everybody just comes out here with their garage sale stuff. They put in their car and they come out here to the park, claim a spot, and that's it. All right, so we went around and we're back at the place that we bought the tacos for the dogs for. So because it looks so good. It was the best spot we could find. Look at this. This is the smallest size they have here. Half a liter. Nothing like Mexican Coke. Breakfast of champions. So we're having breakfast now. This is 9.30 in the morning, right? 9.30 in the morning and we're having pork sandwiches with Coca-Colas. And that's this basically what everybody has Sunday morning. Here, let me show you a little bit more, okay? You see, they're making my sandwich over there. Oh, well, my sandwich is something like that. See, look. There's like all this pork in there, all this pork goodness. There's a sandwich bread over there. Sí, sí, muchas gracias. Muy amable. Gracias, muchas gracias. Oh yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Look at this. Looks so good. She's getting the tacos. Take what the doggies get. This is my favorite here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna eat. All right, that one. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. I just realized I didn't film an ending, so that's what I'm doing here now. I know today was a long episode, but if you're still here watching, then I'm guessing you enjoyed it. And it was just a day in the life of me and my girlfriend. That was again, just Sunday morning. She had to go into the office um, and take care of a few things. And uh, you know, we just made a day out of it. Um, and I brought you guys with me and you guys, uh, Again, if you're still watching here at this point in the video, then you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, if you guys want to see more videos like this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell icon. I upload every single day all kinds of videos talking about all kinds of things. And uh, yeah, you know, this is just uh, another one of my uh, different kind of videos. Again, you never know what you're going to get when you watch my channel. Well, unless you tune in on Monday, which is Monday Motivation, or if you tune in on Tuesday, in which I upload my Cuba videos, or Wednesday, in which I just do a live stream, or, well, you get the picture. But anyways, guys, don't forget to stay awesome, and uh, you're in another deal. I'll see you guys manana. Thanks again for watching, and uh, peace.